G'day everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady and welcome to another Japanese Castle Explorer video and today we are going to Iwakuni and uh, this video goes out to Manny, good on you Manny uh, he is a uh a friend of the J-Vlogging community, has been a big supporter for many, many years, so good on you, Manny. So yes, Iwakuni. Now, Iwakuni, I went to coming home from Hiroshima, so it's not so far from Hiroshima, and if you are there, you know, for whatever reason, do check it out. I think it's worth the, uh, worth the visit. And, um, sorry guys, let's forget about the castle, because the main attraction in Iwakuni is that bridge, that Kintai-kyo bridge it was originally built in 1673 and I believe I've got a an old postcard from uh, early in the 1900s that's pretty cool and uh, yeah this bridge um, it has sort of been washed away at times uh, but regularly sections are, are rebuilt they use the traditional crafts traditional uh, you know b building techniques and it, it really is a stunning bridge and unique and beautifully crafted and it deserves to be the highlight of uh, a visit to Iwakuni. But anyway, as you cross that bridge, you've got to pay some money. And uh, I think then you come up to a building, and it's called, it's a gate. Uh, is it a gate? Well, it's sort of like a gate with um, lodging. So um, a gatehouse, a guardhouse. Gee, I forgot the name. I, I haven't really done a, a Castle Explorer vid for so long. <laughs> oh, oh, my lord. Anyway, so from there, then you would make your way up to the base of the mountain prop up and take a, a, a cable car, is that what they're called? Up to the top of the mountain. Now up the top of the mountain is sort of interesting because um, there are signs of uh, stonework from the original construction. Now I should also point out that in 1615 the Tokugawa shogunate, they were uh, not happy with the number of castles in Japan, you know, the, these are potential um, p potential forts for enemies of the shogunate, so they wanted less, and uh, they ordered th that this castle be demolished. Now, the rule was one country, one castle, one country being a, a province. Now, the Mordi clan, they had two provinces, and you know, you don't need to be a mathematician to figure that out, that you get two castles, but the Tokugawa ha would have none of it. So, the castle at the top of the mountain, was decommissioned and torn down, but um, at the base of the mountain there, there are moats and there, there were administration buildings. These were kept in use throughout the uh, Edo period, so there you go. So yes, up the top and we've got that main tower. It is of a very interesting design. You'll notice that overhanging layer, that is called Nanban Zukuri and uh, it is not often seen in Japanese castles. Uh, Kokuro Castle has one like that and I think there was another one or two. Uh, Takamatsu is another one and there could be another one. Tsu, Tsuyama Castle. Hey, let's not spend time me thinking. Um, inside that little main tower is um, some, there are some historical items on display which are sort of interesting, not overly interesting. I think there's a mu museum at the base of the mountain which has much more interesting things. Yes. But anyway, um, from there you can uh, take the cable car back down or you could indeed walk down. And you could have walked up there, but um, anyway, there are two choices to get up and down the mountain. Choose your own adventure. Hmm. Okay, guys, well, I will leave it there, but Iwakuni, it's a beautiful place. Really, really nice. If you're in Hiroshima, you've got to check out Iwakuni.